Today my friend Brian and I are gonna dispel some common myths and misconceptions about the ketogenic diet. What's going on everybody? How you doing? It's Blake here with Gorilla Zen Fitness. I'm in nature today with my brother over here, Brian Hardy. How you doing? <laughs> Brian and I have known each other for a long time. Uh, we met on a health retreat many years ago and we've been friends ever since. He's a holistic health coach in Toronto and we synergize a lot together. And uh, you know, our ideas and health philosophies are very in line with each other. Mm -hmm. um, so we actually partnered together to make the Keto Quick Start, which I think I gave you guys access to a couple weeks ago. Um, basically, I'll talk about that at the end, but what, we're, what we wanted to do today was dispel some common myths and misconceptions that people have about the ketogenic diet. So we'll get into that right now. Basically, the first um, you know, thing that we want to dispel is this idea that uh, people that are eating a ketogenic diet are eating lots of high protein, uh, you know, foods and meat and bacon all the time. So, uh, Brian, why don't you kind of kick kick it off by talking about that? Yeah. So this kind of stems more from like the Atkins diet and approach to eating, um, which was very low carb, but did not really restrict protein in the proper uh, quantities. Yep. Right. For a true nutritional ketosis approach you need to have mostly fat and just enough protein to satiate your needs. So if you're not training very much, that could be about 10% protein. If you're training more, you know, if you're working out like this beast here, you probably need like 30% potentially, up, up to around 30%. And that's gonna allow you to recover and remain anabolic. And so people are oftentimes overeating uh, protein and overeating meat, and particularly muscle meat. And when you do that for a prolonged period of time, your amino acid ratios can get out of whack and you can actually lead to or contribute to increased inflammation. Uh, especially if you're not eating the cleanest, grass-fed, local, you know, really good quality animal products. Um, then you're going to be stressing your system with, you know, hormones, potentially antibiotics, just toxins from low quality meat. Yeah. I also wanted to say that the Atkins diet is not a ketogenic diet due to the high protein. It's a basically a high protein, high fat, low carb diet, whereas a ketogenic diet is a high fat, moderate protein, low carb diet. So you're mm -hmm. eating way more calories from fat than you are from protein and certainly a lot more calories from fat than you are from uh, glucose or carbohydrates. And the reason why the Atkins diet you know, aside from the macronutrient ratios being different, is not a ketogenic diet. It's because nobody eating that much protein actually goes into a uh, nutritional ketosis. Okay, when you're eating meat, okay, or a lot of protein from any source, if you eat enough protein and you pass a certain threshold of your macronutrients, that extra protein will be converted in the in the liver into sugar. Okay, this is a process called gluconeogenesis. Okay, again. This is why the ketogenic diet is not a, um, or this is why the Atkins diet is not a ketogenic diet. Too much protein mm -hmm. in it, and it nobody following that is actually going to be in ketosis because they're just going to be eating too much protein. Yeah. Um, another thing I wanted to touch on is uh, basically like I think vegetables are something that people that are not familiar with keto or maybe they just heard about it through the grapevine, mm -hmm. they think that you know people that are eating a ketogenic diet are not eating. You know vegetables, mm -hmm. which, which can be true in some yeah. instances. Right? You can get into ketosis by not eating vegetables. You can you can do it a healthy way and you can do it an unhealthy way. Talk yeah. about that a little bit. Yeah. So a lot of times, you know, you'll see people with keto recipes, keto meals, Instagram posts about keto, and there's like a lot of dairy, lots of cheese, um, you know, lots of these potentially inflammatory foods and a lack of vegetables. And that's not what we do at all, right? You know, we the approach that we take is you want a lot, particularly leafy greens, right? Very low carbohydrate foods, but very nutrient dense foods, right? Yeah. Lots of micronutrients, minerals, and so forth. Uh, polyphenols, you know, the the things that give plants their color. Secondary nutrients, vitamins and minerals, like you said, fiber, antioxidants. You get all these from plants, and they're absolutely a part of a ketogenic diet, or they should be, if it's a well formulated one. What we yes. talk about in Keto Quick Start is a lot of this, you know? Um, really, like, half of the food volume on your plate should be plant matter. Yep. Um, even when you're following a ketogenic diet, what you want to stay away from are, like, starchy, 
vegetables like potatoes and fruits especially when they're not in season I made a video a couple weeks ago where I talked about you know how ketosis is the natural metabolic state of our ancestors but it's really more normal to be in it in the winter time mm -hmm. maybe in the summer when fruits are naturally in abundance like we were just picking apples here um, you know at this time of the year, it's more natural to eat fruit than it would be in the middle of like January in a northern climate. Yeah. So, um, but regardless, your plate should have you know a lot of greens in it. Green leafy vegetables, um, you know, are not going to spike your glucose and insulin and cause a lot of the health issues that you know eating high sugary foods can cause. Yeah. So, um, you know, we just kind of wanted to make this quick video about this. Um, you know, basically vegetables and lots of fiber absolutely have a place in the ketogenic diet because you need those second in, secondary nutrients you need that chi energy from the food you need the fiber from it there's so many benefits of uh you know vegetables that a well formulated ketogenic meal is going to have tons of vegetables in fact by volume it's going to be mostly vegetables and the second thing is the Atkins diet is not a ketogenic diet okay ketogenic diet high protein moderate or high mm. fat moderate protein, low carb, and a, a Atkins diet or something similar, just a low carb diet, usually has high fat, but also high protein and low carb. If you're doing that, you're not actually gonna go into nutritional ketosis where your body is breaking down fat cells for energy, breaking them down into metabolites called ketones and using those for energy. Mm -hmm. You're just not gonna get into it if you're eating too much protein. Yeah, and you're over time gonna stress your kidneys and uh, just produce more metabolic waste. Um, yes. Yeah, not the way to go. Nope, we'll post a lot more about this, but you guys wanted to hear more about nutrition, so I wanted to make a quick video with, with you while I was here with Brian. If you want to get the keto quick start, you know, Brian worked really hard on this. You can get it right here, okay? Just click that, it'll take you to our website. I'll ask you for your email as soon as you enter it in. I will send you the keto quick start within five minutes. So, hope you enjoyed that video. Um, we'll see you next time. Take care.